Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my Blu-ray collection video. So let's go through everything right now, everything, um, in terms of our last two shelves. If I can get through all of it without uh, it getting to about 30 minutes, because that's the longest I can record without my uh, camera stopping me and saying, Hey, you're taking up too much space with your recordings. So, um... Yeah, Bill and Ted face the music. I own Bill and Ted Bogus Journey and um, um, Excellent Adventure, but see that little Warner Brothers logo? This is my Warner Brothers titles, and my my Bill and Ted are actually released by Shout Factory, not Warner Brothers for some reason. I don't understand it either. I should have bought them in the three-pack, but when I bought Bill and Ted, there was no three-pack, and I wanted to review them and watch them before the third one came out, which I did! Casablanca, one of the greatest films ever made. Risky business. The Way Back. I've heard amazing things about this movie. Have not watched it. I know it's Ben Affleck. Speaking of Ben Affleck, we have the 4K Best Buy exclusive steelbook of The Town. Have not seen that either, but I've heard it's great, so I need to watch it. 42. I actually have a poster right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. There it is. Yeah, you can see that. It's on the wall. Uh, it's a. It's not a great movie. Uh, if you want a movie that is not Black Panther to watch after Chadwick Boseman's death, there you go. Just like I always, I was reading all these posts about people being like, he was such a great actor. He was one of the most important actors to ever live, or something like that. I'm like, no, he was not. <laughs> like all these people, when they were listing his list of performances, they were only talking about Black Panther, and I'm like, what else did he do? He did some good stuff. I'm not denying that, but it's just like if your argument that is someone is the best actor of all time because Black Panther, maybe you should reconsider what a great actor is. The Goonies 4K. I didn't want. To, I don't mean to like take away from the tragedy of his death. Yes, that was very sad. Uh, Beetlejuice 4K. Banana Splits Blu-ray. Uh, the movie. I, what a crazy movie. I really liked it, though. Crazy Rich Asians. Um, Critters Attack. So, yeah, so, last one of the videos, I showed my Shout Factory box set. This is not released by Shout Factory. This was released by Warner Brothers. It was like a Shutter exclusive. And it was kind of like a revamp of the original movies. So, that's pretty cool. The Outsiders, the complete novel edition. Now, this is a Francis Ford Coppola movie. Who I'm a big fan of. Um, he directed Apocalypse Now. All the different cuts. And he directed all the Godfather movies. Um, so he released Outsiders. Which is based on a novel. By the way. Uh, Ralph Macchio. A.K.A. Karate Kid. Um, who still is the Karate Kid. In the Cobra Kai stuff. So uh, he's in this movie. Really was a big fan of the novel. Really liked Fan Francis Ford Coppola movies. So he was in this movie. And the theatrical cut cut out all the character moments and stuff that made the story make sense. And then this version, the complete novel edition, puts it back in. So if you're going to buy this movie, the complete novel edition is the best way to own it. It's the best version of the movie. Because otherwise, you're just watching the same movie except without any of the details of who the characters are and like the important parts of the story. Very weird. Um, Clint Eastwood, The Outlaw, Godzilla, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, so that's pretty cool, is there something behind there, huh. um, Terminator 6 film collection, which includes Terminator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Term Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, Terminator Salvation, Terminator Genesis, and Terminator Dark Fate. Some of those are good. Some of those are not. I'm not going to go through them. Uh, we got uh, Purple Rain. Uh, the Green the Green Burnets. And The Dirty Dozen. Dirty Dozen is one of my favorite movies. Um, I've been reviewing these on my main channel. The Rocky movies. I just watched Rocky Five. When I hear my thoughts on all these movies, uh, my main channel. 
I haven't reviewed every single movie in my collection. I'm just saying I'm going through the Rocky movies. These will be coming up in the next three weeks. Creed. I gotta get past all the Rocky movies first. We got Rocky Balboa to talk about. 4K of Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows. Caddyshack, Blazing Saddles, Poltergeist. Sorry, we're going through these a little fast. Um, Wizards of Oz. Wizards of Oz. It's a classic, but it's one of those classics where everybody knows how this movie goes, what the movie's about. You know it without even seeing it. So it's become boring to me. And um, so I enjoy reading about this movie and kind of the weird production that went on with this movie. I'm not going to go into it here, but um, yeah, just fascinating stuff. And I like reading about that more than I actually enjoy watching the movie. Uh, this is the Ultimate Essential Holiday Collection Elf National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Christmas Story Polar Express. Uh, I enjoy Christmas Vacation. Elf, I enjoy, but they needed to cut down on a little bit on his stupidity, which was the original intent, and I wish they would have gone with the original intent. Christmas Story is great. Polar Express. I hate that movie. I don't want to talk about it. It's got some great parts about it, but Polar Express is not a good movie. Uh, Class of the Titans. Live, die, repeat, or edge of tomorrow, whatever you want to call it. The Matrix Steelbook. The Matrix Trilogy. And I know I need to get the Animatrix. Any Matrix. Gone with the Winds. The Florida. Couple Stanley Kubrick films. The Shiny and Full Metal Jack. So those are great. Uh, we got Gremlins 1 and 2. Nightmare on Elm Street. Pretty great movie. Paddington 2. Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Rick and Morty Season 3. Uh, we're Season 1 through 3. I need to get Season 4. Um, the Jetsons complete first season on Blu-ray. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Ultimate Edition, which if you don't want to know the difference between this version and the original Blu-ray, uh, this has um, two newly rem remastered Grinch specials, The Grinch's Grinch's The Cat in the Hat, and Halloween is Grinch Night. So if you want those shorts, here's how you get them on Blu-ray. Um, which is weird because when you go into the Blu-ray, they're kind of not front and center, so I miss them somehow. And they're not even advertised with this set. Very weird. So you think it's just like a generic reprint of the movies, but it's not. They actually remastered new shorts, put it on Blu-ray, and then they just didn't tell anybody. Uh, Tom and Jerry and the Nutcracker Tale, the original movie, was not as good as I remember. I used to, I actually remember it being quite great. But nope, it was not quite great. Uh, it was decent, but I just remember it being better. So I got, I'm going to put some of these figures back that I had to move. Lots of Baby Yodas that I had to move. Because I have about nine sitting here. And I had to move them all to show you what I got here. So. Alright. Wonder Woman's got to move now. Rocketeer's got to move. Hopefully he doesn't come off his stand. Thank God. That figure is really hard to get back on a stand. Let's just say that. Um, Space Jam. Steelbook. Space Jam. I like Space Jam. People act like it's just kind of a gimmick movie. And yeah, it is. But it's one of those movies where... Uh, compared to like movies that are really bad and nobody tried... Space Jam isn't that. Someone cleared there, tried... There was interesting filmmaking. I mean, there's so many cool things to do with the animation. Self-aware jokes that are really funny. I don't get why, you know, there's that group of people. Like, I hate Space Jam. It's so bad. I'm like, okay, it is bad. But, like, the people tried, you know. At least respect the ambition, <laughs> I guess. Big Top Scooby-Doo on Blu-ray. Uh, Scoob on 4K. Scoob is terrible. I'm sorry, it just is, and I look, I was looking forward to Scoob this year, but it just, that was my number one anticipated movie of the year, so bad. Storks, it's okay. Fun, fun, enjoyable comedy. Lego movie, one of the best animated films of all time. 
the Lego Movie to the second part. Lego Ninjago. The Lego movie that we pretend doesn't exist because it doesn't. The Lego Batman movie. Great, great movie. The most accurate Batman movie ever made as someone who's read a lot of the comics. Batman Hush. Wow, I, this was a really bad Batman movie. I'm sorry, it just was. Uh, we got Batman Ninja, Batman Death of the Family, Interactive Movie, Killing Joke. I watched The Killing Joke because of the stuff that's been said about it. But I have it because I like owning all the Batman movies. So uh, we got The Joker, Birds of Prey, Batwoman Season 1. Yeah, I know. It's not great. I reviewed it, but it's not terrible. Uh, Batman Ninja Turtles 4K, Deathstroke, Batman by Goth Light, um, here we go, Let's get these out there, uh, Krypton, the complete series, it's such a terrible show, I hate that show, but I have it, Superman Man Tomorrow, Red Sun Superman, great, watch it, please do, one of the best Superman movies ever made, Death and Return of Superman, and 4K of Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman Bloodlines, 4K of Aquaman, Justice League versus The Fatal Five, Justice League Apocalypse Dark, Teen Titans Judas Contract, Shazam, Shazam, I don't know if anybody got that reference, but sure, if you're an Andy Griffin fan, you got that reference. Damn. When I put these movies back, I have them all in a Pacific order, and if they don't go back the Pacific way I had them, it just does not ever look right to me. So, alright, now we have them back in their Pacific order, so I can pull out the ones I need to pull out next. Alright, there we go. Now we can pull them. Lego Shazam Magic and Monsters, not good, but it's fun. Constantine, City of Demons, Swap Thing, the Complete Series, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles 2, Ninja Turtles 3. We got the whole trilogy, and I bought those all at Dollar Tree. TMNT, the movie. Austin Powers trilogy. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Guilty Pleasure. Sorry. It's so bad, though. It's so bad. And it's not as bad as Mortal Kombat Annihilation, though. So it's at least watchable. Second Ant Lions. I actually really enjoy that movie. Chernobyl. The Heat. A Kitchen Revolution. Really great cooking documentary. And I I don't give a flying hoot about cooking. But if you make me interested in cooking, you're pretty good. So, 4K Best Buy exclusive of Help Boy. Almost dropped it. <laughs> Help Boy. That's the sound I made when I was about to drop it. Like, geez. 4K edition of Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. I don't know why they made so many 4K steelbook editions of Hellboy, but they didn't, they didn't do one for two. Probably because one didn't sell very well, but it's like they put out too many. I'm sorry, you just did. Uh, we got Little Women. Uh, probably one of the best adaptations of Little Women I've seen. 
4K of Godzilla 98, Men in Black Trilogy, Starship Troopers 4K, 21, 22 Drum Street 4K, Whiplash, such a great movie, 4K, Air Force One 4K, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood 4K, Angels and Demons, Ron Howard, so I had to have it, Searching, great movie, check out his, uh, the director of Searching's new movie on uh, Hulu, Run, it's great, Glory, such a great movie. Uh, the Natural, I haven't watched this, never seen it, but it was really cheap, so I bought it. Spider-Verse 4K. Um, Rudy Blu-ray. I don't really love Rudy. Uh, Gone Girl. Great movie. But yeah, Dances with Wolves. This is a Shout Factory kind of steelbook. Of the movie, um, such a great movie. Kevin Costner, you know, you know Kevin Costner. Uh, how when I met when Harry met Sally, uh, um, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Oh wait, Bill and Ted and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. There you go. There's my shelf back here. Um, Brewster's Billions. Richard Pryor, John Candy, great movie. The Nutty Professor. I'm sorry. They're terrible, but they're guilty pleasure. Eddie Murphy's been in funnier movies. Yeah, I know, but, like, I love them. <laughs> I don't know why I'm apologizing. It's not like I someone's watching this and is personally offended, but I just feel like I have to explain myself in some of these movies. Because I'm always the guy who's like, yeah, this movie sucks, that movie sucks, and then I'm also like, yeah, but I like these movies, and it's like, how could you like these movies, but... That still like some of these. I'm like, yeah, they're guilty pleasures. That's why. I don't know. Big Trouble in Chinatown. Starman. Excellent, excellent John Carpenter movies. Just uh, Fire Starter. A Stephen King adaptation. I've never watched. You need to watch that. The Transformers, the movie. That's right. That's the name of this movie. The Transformers, the movie. Steelbook. Um, Shout Factory. And it's better than any of the Bay movies. And it's better than Bumblebee. 4K Bumblebee. I'm sorry. It's just true. But it is. And you know what? I don't even hate uh, the Bay movies as much as some other people do. I don't like them. I, I, I hate them too. But I just don't hate them as much as some other people do. Because, like, I get who they're made for. Those people just like watching dumb explosions and not actual substance. So, if you like that, cool. And sometimes I like stupid movies like that. So, I can't look at them and go, bam. I hate you. G.I. <laughs> Joe Retaliation. Guilty Pleasure. Sorry. Zoolander. One of my favorite comedies. And the movie that taught me that I need to be really, really ridiculously good looking. Because I am. Airplane. Anchorman. The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Clueless. Hunt for Red October. Such a great movie. Rest in peace, Sean Connery. Uh, his best movie. I think is Hunt for Red October. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the Jack Ryan movies, I highly recommend them if you're looking for a series of movies to check out. Or if there still are not many new movies coming out. Sonic the Hedgehog 4K Steelbook. Adam's Family, Adam's Family Values. Uh, True Grit and True Grit, the original. So we got John Wayne's True Grit, and then we got uh, the Coen Brothers remake of True Grit. So that's pretty cool. Uh, is it the Coen Brothers? Yeah, it's Coen Brothers. Uh, we got Sonic the Hedgehog, the Collector's Edition. Uh, we got Star Trek Shorts, Star Trek Picard Season 1, Adventures of Tintin, uh, Wonder Park, And then we got Interstellar on 4K. We got War of the Worlds, Days of Thunder, and Top Gun. Out of all these movies, the only movie I've never seen is this one. And I tried to watch it and didn't get to finish it. I need to go finish it. You know? <laughs> but it's a it's a fine movie. Uh, those are fine movies. I'm not a big like Top Gun. War of the Worlds has its issues, but I still really like it. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. You're just going to have to, like, bear with me here. 
I'm gonna have to like put you here because I just don't want you to see all this. This is a bathroom. And yeah, I know it's weird filming in here, but this is where I keep some of my other movies. And then I, we have to go back out there to see the rest of them. So we got a Home Alone collector set, which has got Home Alone 4, Taking Back the House, and Home Alone 5. I'm not pulling all the movies out in here. They are horrible. Well, I guess I'll pull them out. So they're terribly packaged. That's why you saw Home Alone, Home Alone 2, and Home Alone 3. I rebought those movies because they're not very well packaged. Uh, if you see this, I pull out the disc like this. And some of these movies I've never watched, and they've already had scratches on them. So this is just a display piece to go on the shelf in here. Uh, in here, it's a bookshelf. This is a bookshelf. So, I mean, I actually literally only use it for books, except for the top shelf, which is full of just a few movies. So Shutter Island, Braveheart. Wolf of Wall Street. I got that for like two bucks at Walmart. 4K of Cloverfield and Cloverfield, 10, or 10 Cloverfield Lane. I need to get Cloverfield Paradox, but I don't have a quiet place. So overrated. Not that original, guys. And the script of this movie's abysmal. I mean, it's a fine movie, but if you didn't watch it in the theater, number one, it ruins the experience. And number two, it's just like, it's not really that good. White Christmas. I haven't watched this. I will be watching that this year. I know it's a classic. I haven't seen it. Um, Richard Donner film, Timeline. If you don't know Richard Donner, Superman, uh, the Lethal, we well, that, Lethal Weapon trilogy. Sorry, that's just really, that's like a mouthful. Um, the Omen, you know, uh, Goonies, such a great director. And I think that's a fun addition to his catalog. Not one of his best, but still a fun one. Rocket Man of 4K. Um, Beverly Hills Cop 3 movie collection. And again, I mentioned in one of the videos, uh, Santa Claus is one of those guilty pleasure Christmas movies where I know it's not good, but I don't know why every year I just feel obligated to turn it on and watch it. And there's Scrooge. That's another one. Planes, trains, and automobiles. The SpongeBob movie and Sponge Out of Water. Double feature. Uh, just... Childhood memories right here. Charlotte's Web. I used to love Charlotte's Web. I remember when they would show like dollar movies uh, at the theater and I would always go and see Charlotte's Web every single year. And it's just when I always went back to, I have the book uh, right here. Still signed by a kid from my school. And so love um, that movie. John Carpenter's Halloween, the best Halloween from Hell, Rob Zombie. I need to get more Rob Zombie movies. First Blood, First Blood Part Two, First Blood or Rambo Three, or and then Rambo. The the fight continues. Is that the real title? Is it just Rambo? I don't know. Uh, the only good ones. Sorry, Rambo Five. You will not be entering into my collection. As much as I'm a completionist of the other franchise, I just can't. Um, the seven film Leprechaun collection and Leprechaun Returns. So I got all the Leprechaun movies. Stay tuned for St. Patrick's Day, I guess. Some here are my A24 titles. Hereditary. First Cow. Great movie. This is actually one of my favorite movies of the year. I know that's not saying much because this year has been crazy, but great. Lighthouse. Uncut Gems. So there's those. And then we got uh, Peanut Butter Falcon. Uh, I still need to review this unhinged. Uh, but we are going to... I will probably watch this tomorrow and do a video on it. I'm looking for more videos to put out during the week on my main channel. Because it feels like I never put anything out um, on my main channel anyways. Except for the Friday, which is where I drop a bunch of Disney Plus reviews. Uh, John Wick. I haven't watched the John Wick movies. And I think... After I'm done with um, Rocky, we're gonna we're gonna go to uh, these this trilogy here because uh, I guarantee when John Wick two four comes out, I'm gonna end up watching it. And John Wick two, and John Wick three. So I got these for eight bucks on Black Friday at Walmart. Um, they didn't really have any good deals because these have been out for that price for many years, but. 
I didn't have them, so 25 bucks for a trilogy, great deal. And it's 4K, so I didn't have them, so I was like, okay, I'll grab them. And then we had Shivers. Um, know nothing about this movie, never watched it, so yeah. And then uh, Little Monsters. All right, let's go over. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, this is just awkward, I know. But, again, that's how I have to do it because my collection is so large now. And now I'm putting you in front of CDs. Because that's just where it's at. Alright, let's talk about my Lionsgate titles. And then we'll go to my uh, Magnolia titles. Um, so this one I did a review for. And in that review I stayed, there was no blurry, there was... I just didn't see it at Walmart because Walmart didn't put out Red Shoes and Seven Dwarves. It's not as it was a, it isn't a fat shaming movie like people were saying. Um, it came out and everyone thought it was that. Well, it didn't even come out because people thought it was that. And then it, you actually watch the movie and it's like, nope, it's not um, at all. Uh, Saber Spark, great video explaining that. Midway 4K, uh, Knives Out 4K. I love Knives Out. Power Rangers. Now You See Me. I don't own Now You See Me 2 at all because I don't want it. Um, what is this? Dirty, Dirty Dancing, Dirty Va Dancing Havana, Havana Nights. Uh, this is a two-pack. Dirty Dancing is the only good one. I Dirty Dancing is like a guilty pleasure. Uh, 4K, best, 4K, it's not a steelbook. 4K of uh, Scary Stories Tell in the Dark. Pavarotto. Pavarotto. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but it's a Ron Howard film. Uh, Ron Howard. I don't know why. I love him. Uh, Wallace and Gromit, The Complete Collection, which isn't The Complete Collection because DreamWorks owns the rights to Curse of the Were-Rabbit, so I need to get that movie so I can have them all. And I actually own The Complete Collection because I'm a crazy maniac. Sean the Sheep, the movie. Go watch Sean the Sheep 2 on Netflix. Give it some love. My Little Pony, the movie. I'm sorry, I'm a brony. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie about that. Stallone lockup, uh, not good, but I watched it because it's Stallone, so I don't know. <laughs> Life itself. Uh, this is a uh, documentary about you know Roger Ebert and stuff. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I'm still here. Walking Phoenix. I need to watch that. Two lovers, more Walking Phoenix. I need to watch. Fonterra, great movie. Uh, Drinking Buddies, I haven't watched it. Frank, great. Uh, Conan Bryan, can't stop. Great documentary, should watch it. Anybody should watch this. Freakonomics, the movie, great uh, documentary, I guess. I don't know. The facts in that movie seem really weird, and I don't really care for it. Uh, the Yankles in the beginning, and I think a lot of this movie has been come out to be false. I'm not really sure. 4K, Color Out of Space. Um, but I really like The Inkles. That's a really funny comedy. I recommend that one. Very surprised I actually like that one. Uh, VFW. I don't know anything about this movie. I haven't watched it. I meant to watch it during Halloween season. It just never happened. Arizona, one of my favorite movies of all time. Just a random movie I decided to sit down and watch. And I loved it. It was surprising to me. Like, I loved it. This is why I watch movies that sometimes I've just never heard of. Because then I find my favorite movies that way. Um, and then we got... Um, Gravestone. Never watched it. Uh, these are my RLJE Entertainment. Or RLJ Entertainment films. So, you know, I'm... This is my last one of these titles. Or no, I have two more of these, but Raw and Sunbrock 99. They tend to put out really good stuff. Um, Kickboxer Vengeance, that's another great one. Um, Bone to Mohawk, really good movie. It's really cheap. I've seen it at Walmart for five bucks. If you find that movie for five bucks, watch it. It's great. Armageddon. Uh, no, not good, but it's Armageddon. Good Morning Vietnam. Robin Hitt Williams, one of his best performances. Peninsula. I have not heard good things about it. I still need to watch Train to Busan again before I watch it. Total Recall. Steelbook. Coming to 4K next week. Platoon. I need to watch it. I heard nothing but great things. Weekend at Bernie's. 
uh, Spice Warshall. Quentin Tarantino's Jingle Unchained. The Good Catholic. I like that movie. I don't know why. I'm not even Catholic, and I really like that movie. Ana Anaconda. Really like that. Um, Opportunity Knox. Roxanne. Roxanne! What are, don't ever sing that song by the police to a girl named Roxanne because you will get punched in the face. Um, but yeah. Kroll. I love this movie. That's all I have to say. I love it. Uh, Ultra Q, the complete series. Really enjoyed that stuff. There's a... No, it's Neo Ultra Q. There's Ultra Q... Uh, this is a prequel to Ultra Q, the first Ultraman series, but it came out after Ultra Q. Uh, it's confusing. <laughs> You're the Hunter from the Future. Mothra. This is the Steelbook edition that includes the American version and the Japanese version. Uh, this has this is a Walmart double feature of Ultraman movies, which has got Ultraman. Here comes Ultraman, the movie. Ultraman, the movie showdown 10 Ultimate Warriors. Um, yeah. Ultraman Greed, the movie, Connect the Wishes. Great movie. I really like that. Um, and then finally, to finish off my collection of movies to show you here, 4K Arrow Video Edition of Flash. Ah! You'll save every one of us! So, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's my entire collection, I know. You saw multiple copies of some movies, you saw Steelbooks, you saw 4Ks, you saw Blu-rays, you saw excessive compulsion disorder, I don't know. Or, oh, not compulsion disorder, I don't know why I said that. OCD, lots and lots of OCD. Like, everything has to be put back in its spot and something inside me just snaps if it's not. So, uh, yeah. I did a full CD collection video if you want to watch that. That's available now to watch, so check that out. Uh, but... Yeah.